TEDx. Hello. Uh, the first thing I want to say is um, just how honored and privileged I feel to be a part of this really amazing experience. Um, I, I've been listening in the back and watching all these wonderful people that I've been seeing for the past couple days say the most amazing things, and it, it really gives me a lot of hope um, and the sort of spirit of humanity, um, and I'm really thankful for all of you and um, for everybody watching for putting this together. Um, I want to talk briefly about a little bit of the work that I've done with a nonprofit called Street Symphony. Um, you guys can check it out. Uh, our webpage is streetsymphony.org. There's lots of really wonderful pictures there and videos uh, that talk more about what we do. But I wanted to share with you briefly about um, some of the personal experiences that I've had, uh, starting with uh, a really one of my first performances uh, with Street Symphony was on Skid Row at the Downtown Mental Health Clinic um, with a really good friend of mine, Robert Gupta, who plays in the LA Philharmonic. Some of you guys might know him because he gave a really wonderful talk on how music is medicine, which is really the philosophy of what we do. Um, when, when I played that concert with Robert, who's like kind of a musical soulmate to me, uh, one of the most wonderful things about that experience was I really felt the energy in the crowd. Uh, you know, 60% of them were uh, homeless, suffering from mental illness, and then there were the other staff members, and I really felt their energy hanging on every single note. And as classical musicians, we crave that because we, we're all constantly fighting the, you know, the, the fear that our art is dying. But I have to tell you, on Skid Row, when we play, it is not dying. It is very much alive when we play, when we play Mozart. Uh, it was so exciting. And also what happened was really interesting is this guy came up to me afterwards, really friendly, really excited. What did you play? What did you play? Oh, I played Mozart. Who's Mozart? Oh, he's this guy who lived 150 years ago. Wow, that's great. And he was so enthusiastic. And, uh, and we talked for a good about 15 or 20 minutes. And I kind of couldn't get him off me, but I was really happy to share, share in his enthusiasm. But... Uh, one of, the, one of his caseworkers came to me uh, afterwards and said, you know, that guy hasn't really spoken in this place for the six months that we've been working with him. He's just been sitting quietly in group therapy. He has a really severe social anxiety disorder, and he, he really struggles to, to communicate with people, you know, and I've never seen him open up like that. And I was like, wow, you know, what a miracle the power of music can have on people. Um, it can really bring people together and create communities where communities normally wouldn't be created, like members of the LA Philharmonic, a really the highest social status symbol, um, connected in the most human way with people on Skid Row. And so that's one experience I want to share with you. And then just briefly, I want to share with you just a little bit about the, uh, a pilot project that we started this summer that I was in charge of coordinating. We worked in partnership with a really fantastic program called the Merit Program, um, which helps uh, rehabilitate people in the LA County jails. And it's a fantastic program, and I'm really happy to say Street Symphony has put on 23 concerts since the summer with, uh, with that program in the Pitches Detention Center and also Twin Towers Correctional Facility for the women and men in those facilities. And we've probably reached easily over 2,000 inmates. And again, the response has been overwhelming. They keep asking us back. You can see the hope in their eyes. Um, and I'm just so thrilled to be here to share that with you in, in the spirit of Ted. And uh, now I want to offer you a piece that I played a lot over the summer for the inmates, um, the Sarabon of the Sixth Cello Suite. And I offer this to you as a prayer of hope, which is kind of how I interpret it for me. And I really hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you. 